So who exactly was Sir Leo de Gale? So Sir Leo de Gale was born in 1921. Uh, he was born, he's originally uh, from the parish of St. Andrew. So both uh, Sir Eric Matthew Gary, the first prime minister, and also uh, the first governor uh, general of Grenada, Sir Leo de Gale, both came from the parish of St. Andrew. So last week, uh, Sir Eric Matthew Gary relaunched that he was originally from Subis in St. Andrews and Sir Leo de Gale uh, was from St. Andrews, just the parish. I'm not sure which community, right? So uh, his father was George de Gale. So George de Gale was known as an agriculturalist and they owned lots of uh, land, agricultural land in Grenada. So the de Gale family owned lots of uh, land, especially in the St. Andrews area. And his mother was Mary de Gale. So this was uh, so Leo de Gale. So born in 1921. So um, Eric Matthew Gary was born in 1922. So they were just a year apart. So definitely aged comrades um, in terms of they were, they were just one year apart in age. So Leo de Gale attended the um, Grenada Boy Secondary School. So he's an old boy of the GBSS. And just recently, the GBSS would have celebrated 138 years as a secondary school institution. Uh, so one of the um, polit political or historic figures that came from GBSS would have been Sir Leo de Gale uh, as the Governor General. Right, the other governor general who came from GBSS um, was uh, Hubbard Blaze, I believe, was also a GBSS old boy. Right, so um, in terms of GBSS producing governor general so far, it's two, right? So Leo de Gale and uh, Hubbard Blaze. Once he finished secondary school, uh, he migrated to Canada, where he studied at the Sir George Williams University in Montreal, Canada. So he studied accounting. He later would become a qualified accountant. So he studied accounting uh, in Montreal, Canada. And of course, just a little plug again, make sure you're liking and following our Facebook page. And if you're watching on YouTube, that you are subscribing to our content on YouTube. So again, just a little reminder. So, so Leo de Gale um, is a war veteran, meaning that he served during World War II. So World War II was between... 1940 or 1939 to 1945. And so Leo de Gale served as a gunner, not for the Grenada, the British Army. There was a British West India Regiment um, that people from the Caribbean served on. He served instead um, for the Canadian Regiment uh, during World War II as a gunner. After the World War II ended in 1945. Uh, Leo de Gale returned to Grenada. So he made his way back to Grenada in 1945. During 1945 to 1974, that period before he became the governor, uh, first governor general of Grenada, he served in many capacities. And it's uh, quite impressive the uh, number of uh, committees and boards that Leo de Gale served on during that pre independence uh, period. So I'm just going to read out a few here um, because they're just too numerous to mention. So what, what essentially I can take from this, or you can take from this, is that he was a man that had gave service to his country in many ways, right? He, he gave service in many ways, and he did that 
by serving on many boards and committees. So he served, he was a Catholic, so he served on the Catholic Men's Society. He also served on the Red Cross. So you know the Red Cross, that's right, the Red Cross. Um, he was chairman of the Grenada Banana Cooperative Society. He was also chairman of the Public Service Commission at a time. He served on the board of directors for his alma mater, the Grenada Boys Secondary School. He also served as chairman of the Grenada Bureaus Limited. He, he was a member of the West India Committee, and that would have been one of the committees uh, responsible um, that eventually when Grenada got into a uh, federation, right, there was this West India Committee. That was a committee that um, T.A. Mary Show, T.A. Mary Show would have headed that committee in the build up to the West Indian Federation of 1958. So Salio de Gale sat as a member on that committee. He was also part of a Grenada Volunteer Constabulary. So that was an association uh, to gathering volunteers, etc. He served on that. So as I mentioned, he was a man that gave lots of service to his country uh, in the capacity of serving on these boards and committees before he became governor general on uh, February 7th, 1974. So when Grenada entered into an independent nation on uh, February 7th, Sir Leo de Gale um, became the first governor general. Um, Sir Eric Matthew Gary at the time um, was the prime minister and he would have appointed Leo de Gale as the um, governor general. Before that, in 1969, the title of Order of British Empire, OBE, was bestowed onto Leo de Gale. So he, he had that, those titles, Leo de Gale, OBE. He was also a qualified and professional accountant. He gave up that for a short period of time to serve as governor general, but he did have his own accounting firm with a partner, D. Gill and Rapier um, was the name of the company, and uh, they did accounting and auditing. It was an accounting and auditing firm, as Sir Leo was a qualified accountant, having studied accounting in Canada. So he was a professional man. Uh, he reigned for four years. So he reigned from 1974 to 1978 as governor general. And in 1979, um, March 1979 was the start of the Grenada Revolution in which um, Gary was overthrown and the new jewel movement led by Maurice Bishop um, became the government of Grenada. So he served right up until the end of 1978. And then it is believed uh, that he was expelled um, at the end of 1978 um, by Gary. Um, but again, that, I, that's not a verified account, but it is believed that he was expelled at the end of 1978 as governor general. And then not long after Grenada went into that revolutionary period from 1979 to 1983. Um, so in 1978, uh, once his services were no longer needed, which is a nice way to say it, his services were no longer needed, he migrated to England, and that's where he would spend the remaining years of his life. Uh, so he um, lived in England right up until his death. He died at age 64 uh, on March 23rd, uh, 1986, right? So he died relatively uh, still, still, well, he's only 64. Uh, he died in England. And of course, after um, Sir Leo de Gill, the next governor general that the history books would tell us would have been Sir Paul Schooner. So 
So Paul Schoon was the governor general um, after Sir Leo de Gale. So education on Sir Paul School will probably come Sir Paul School will probably come in another program. Um, but we just want to stop here in terms of Sir Leo de Gale. So that's a bit about the first governor general of Grenada. Um, at a time his family dedicated his medals that he had achieved through the World War II to the Grenada National Museum. So I know the museum is under uh, reconstruction and they're doing some renovation there, right? But when it opens back, hopefully you could go in there and, and, and see those war medals that is the D. Gale family um, dedicated to the Grenada National Museum as a historic artifact.